Hello, I'm going to show you an awesome PowerPoint trick. So here we have a quiz where we, people have to guess the population. So someone guesses that the population of Brazil. And then you can click on Brazil and it reveals the population. You know if you got the right answer. Gibraltar, click here, 30,000. Russia, 140 million, like that. I'm going to show you how to create this on PowerPoint. So let me get out of slideshow view by hitting escape. And then what you do at the beginning is you set up one slide with your questions, one slide with your answers. The answer slides we're going to do first. So here we're going to select all the text and then go to Home tab, Convert to Smart Art, choose More Smart Art Graphics, and we're going to choose this one. It's the top left, and right at the top of the list, is called Basic Block List. This is the fastest way to get text into shapes. Next, we're going to do the same with the questions. So select all the questions, convert to smart art, basic block list, press OK. And now we're going to give it a different color in Smart Art Tools Design because we want our answers to be different to our questions. Good. So that's it. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to break the smart art by converting to shapes. And then we're going to ungroup like that. So now they're all individual boxes. That's the fastest way to get text into boxes. That's why we've done it through SmartArt. You could also press Control Shift G two times from SmartArt to go and ungroup it twice to look like this. And now we're going to apply animations to get them to disappear as you click them. So click on animations and we're going to choose the exit animation of wipe this one. In zoom effect, effect options, we're going to go to from right so that it wipes like that. But then the final piece of the puzzle is we don't want it to happen in order. We want it to happen when we click this box. So we can put a trigger of a click of an item. The problem is, though, we don't know which number shape relates to this one. So we can go to our format tab and the selection pane. And here, as you click on different objects, on the right, we see the one that's selected on here. So the one for Cambodia is Freeform Shape 22. So back to my Animations tab, Trigger, on click of Freeform Shape 22. It's the top one in the list as well. And then I'm going to double click the Animation Painter here. And that will lock the Animation Painter into mode. The Animation Painter is like the Format Painter. So now I click in the next one and it copies that and applies it to the next shape. So I repeat for all of my other boxes. And then click here to get out of the selecting mode. And now if I select all my options, I can do it by holding and dragging and selecting. Copy, Control C, go to my answer slide, Control V. Shift F5 or go to slideshow mode from current slide and now it reveals the population of Malaysia is behind this box and I can click on whichever one I want to get it to work like that. And that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.